other day, I, I told you, the one I told you about. Do you remember? The one I told you I saw when I was going home. Yeah, I do. What do you imagine? That, that old fool is asking for my hand in marriage. <laughs> Oh. At this age, <laughs> for real? I see if that was in enough. He said that should come to his house. <laughs> okay. Hey, one day she never ate. Like, like, you want to get married at this age? <laughs> I I don't know. Should I say I'm short of words or I don't know? I'm do, I'm just so. So he mad. just went straight to the point. Like hmm. the audacity. <laughs> then what what was your response? I don't understand. What kind of stupid question is that? What's no now? What's this is me? a rhetorical question. He doesn't have answer. Go! Ah, okay. ha. Hey! It's what? What are you young girls still doing in the school by this time? Sir, we are done with the revision for the test. And you should be home by now, not playing around. Don't you don't you know this poor situation of the security in our land now? Sir, but we are just little children. The hoodlums won't come for us. Hoodlums are cowards. They can strike at any easy target. Now run home. It's too dangerous and too late. Come on, please. Please, just allow us to enjoy ourselves. Enjoy yourself? Yes. At the risk of getting into trouble? Oh, yeah, run home quickly. Our once peaceful kingdom has become a field of fear. I just pray, say, as we plenty rich enter this bush, we we'll go plenty rich like that, take come out. Because this journey where we don't end back like this, say, eh? not going back. See, make I tell you, always have at the back of your mind that the fall of one comrade is a fall for all. Therefore, never let it happen. We shall come out of this bush in flying colors. The same people where they taunt us today, the same people where they find us today, made them kill, that the same person will make us. They call us stouts. They call us infidels. They call us criminals. They call us bandits. You know what? They call us terrorists. They call us all sorts of names. But they made us. They made each and every one of us. Where do you expect the youth to walk? When the aged man that is retired refuses to leave the office, where does the fresh graduates get into? Where do you fix them? They find their guns. They get into the streets. That's why we're here. That's how we got here. When there is an opposition party, they use hike in prices of every commodity. They use insecurity. They use instability to fight opponents. Leaving the promises to cry day and night. No wonder the saying that when two elephants fight, the grass suffers, not the elephants. Look at us. Graduates of different professional courses. We've gone through the walls of the university, but look where we are. We live in a country where my brother here studied linguistics and is a professional. But our ambassador to France cannot even speak calm in French language. We have graduates roaming the streets. The only industry where they see that is growing. They come with big tasks. I don't want to talk about the exchange. But let me remind us that in as much as we decide to rebel the government in retaliation to their wickedness to us. Comrades, we are fueling 
In fact, we are grooming a ground for the sustenance of their criminal government. But what do we do? Should we die of hunger? We will have the brains, the technical know-how. Bro, I have no alternative. I have no other option than to be here. And they must give me my right. I don't know about you, but the reason I'm here is to get my right. And I must get it. Comrades. There have always been time for everything. A time to born. And a time to die. A time to plan and a time to execute. A time for peace and a time for war. We shall give them war. For the beast they created is here for them. Dear <laughs> um, um, Your Majesty. Our people are complaining. They are complaining so much about the speedily deteriorating security situation in this kingdom. I want to know what you are doing about it. Your Majesty. We are doing our best. We are on top of the situation. Uh, okay. Make sure you try your best in arresting the situation. Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. Whatever assistance you may need, you will get it from this throne. Thank you, Your Majesty. I may take my leave now. King Ebele, <laughs> king of my people, me, King Ebele, king of my people, <laughs> I ruling my people well. Ah. If a child refuses to heed the counsel of elders, what happens to such a child? Terrible things will happen to him. When an elder refuses to heed the counsel of those who love him, what happens to such an elder? He meets with tragedy. For the stubborn house fly goes into the grave with the cops. Hmm. When a king who finds himself on the throne through a stroke of luck and now sees himself immune to good counsel. What happens to such a king? High chief, it's a sad one. We must find a way to make the king to listen to us. Because what will betide me if I allow any bad to happen to the king? Dioba, a clueless king, 
is a no king. So, feel free. Tell me, what happens to such a king? Hi, Chief. Dioba, it is an order from me. Tell me, what happens to such a king? If tradition permits, such a king should be changed, lest he leads the people into deeper wars. Hmm. That is very correct. King Ebele has refused the good counsel of the kingmakers. He rather prefers to bring non-initiates and people of low birth close to the throne. He has defiled the throne. And a man who spits out honey that was placed in his mouth deserves to be fed with bitter leaf. Hi, Chief. Dioba. We, the king makers, will not fold our arms and watch the king derail this kingdom. You are the chief security officer of this kingdom. Therefore, you should know that our allegiance is with the kingdom, not with the king. And so, you should support every initiative aimed at salvaging the imminent collapse of this kingdom. Chief. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, High Chief. Very good. Come closer, I want to bite your ear. It takes a good shooter to kill a smart and fast game. Today is going to be a great day. It's our sport. Oh, Baja! Oh, Baja! Hey! Oh, Baja! Hey! Nebuya 
Circumcised bandits. Oh, you came out in front of me, the dog. You look crazy. I said, get it. to run away, but you decided to come here for your friend. I will deal with you. Let my friend go now. Shut up! Who are you? 
You think I have an issue with you? I have an issue with your fucking government. But the kingdom has done everything to me. You will pay dearly for it. It is only a coward that harasses children in retaliation for what the kingdom has done to them. Go and fight the king. Go and fight the chiefs of this kingdom. Come. They send you come. Wait. They send you come. They, they send you come. Every woman can blast your for you. You're the Christ. You're the Christ. You don't follow me talking to Christ. What did they give you the gods? Hmm. The effrontery, I mean the temerity to challenge a man with the gun. In Awala! In Awala! You won't call it. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Please let us go. Please let us go. We've done nothing wrong to you. Of course Please. you have not done anything to me now. You don't even feel you don't even feel hurt me now. You be fly! See! I have an issue! I have an issue with the government! I have an issue with the government! Not you! Not, not you now! The Jones! Who be this game? Number one. No, who be this game? Number one. Who was it the feel? Oh, I see. I see the reason she harasses me. I see what gives her the gods. The impetus. The temerity. To challenge a man with the gun. So I see you. I've always known you will be a good catch. I know. I know this girl will be very good catch. You know what? Epa! Number one. Epa! Number one. Come on, Tata! Come on! Epa, Epa! Epa, Epa! Epa, Epa! Epa, Panting like someone being pursued by a Georgia, the malevolent masquerade of Umoba King. Uh, masquerade of uh, Umoba. Uh, you can associate this run with uh, a Georgia because a Georgia is uh, associated with the peace of the community. You know, so I was running because. Uh, uh, some young female students were kidnapped by uh, the kidnappers. Kidnappers? Yeah. How? In this kingdom? This kingdom. Ah, it, ah. Happened. it happened. Young female students kidnapped. You can't imagine that. Eh? What has their fight for injustice has to do with little children? I don't know. Uh, evidently, it has to do with the uh, high wire dirty politics we are doing in our community. Yes. 
and my security chiefs did not deem it fit to brief me. That tells you the actions of sabotage going on in this, your kingdom. Yes. I know there is no extent these people, these hawks, yes. cannot go in order to sabotage my room. Exactly. But I will deal with it. We have to. Your yes. Majesty, what is this news making the rounds everywhere? So, you also have heard it. So, why am I among the last to hear of this security problem in this kingdom? High wire sabotage going on in this kingdom. Your Majesty, I have told you to minimize the consumption of this local brew. You are the king for crying out loud. Pressure, do not insult the truth. Drinking my people's local brew has not made me lose sight of my responsibilities. Not for once. Only that the people that think they are born to rule yes. are doing whatever they can to sabotage my rule. Yes. Then sit up. Okay. Sit up and face them. This is the reason you should sit up as the king. Face them. God and faith have entrusted so much power in your hands. Utilize it now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, your majesty. You are right, Peshe. You are absolutely right. I have to prove to them that I also am a son of the soil, born in this land, eminently qualified to be king. I will show them that the silence of a peaceful warrior does not make him a weakling. I have played this gentleman for long and they have been taking me for granted mm. but no more mm. hi I you. Your Abbasi, Your send messages summoning all the security chiefs of this kingdom to this palace okay your highness including uh, the chief of umochi because it's from whom which that those children were abducted from. So also send the message to High Chief Kashi Mobi. Just tell all of them, summon all of them to this palace immediately. Let all of them that are involved in this matter proceed to the palace. Immediately. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Immediately. I'll do so. Hi. As the emotion, zero bodo. Agamaja. Monasian, why are you but take it napas? Your Highness, I come under where? Because I move your majesty. You be enough is enough. <laughs> Can a child that keeps his mother sleepless yet sleep? It's not possible. I ask the question. Can a child that keeps his mother sleepless sleep? I just said it's not possible. Hmm. King Ebere has refused to allow the king makers enjoy our lives the way we are used to. I mean, the way we know. Yet, 
he wants to enjoy peaceful reign. He wants to enjoy peace sitting on the throne of his kingdom. That is impossible. We own this kingdom. We make and unmake kings. His time is up. Exactly. We shall attend that meeting and tell him to his face that he has failed the kingdom and that he should abdicate that throne. Mm -hmm. You are right. We cannot have a king who cannot protect his people. Diopa, do your work. Go to King Ebele. Advise him to quit. I mean, tell him that we are tired of him. Tell him that this kingdom is tired of his reign. No, Chief Cashier. I'm not a politician. I do not get involved with political discussions. You politicians should solve your political problems yourselves. I thought you said He's with us. Everything at its time. Little innocent children are out there at the mercy of some bloodthirsty, misbegotten terrorists. And you are telling me you tried your best. You tried your best and some ragtag terrorists who have not have the training you got. They don't have access to have the ammunition at your disposal, but they succeeded in abducting a number of our children. You're back. What do I tell the parents of these children? What? I did not make myself king. The gods of those land, our people, they chose me. But those that think that it is their better right to choose kings, they consider me an outcast at the corridors of power. Yes, they consider him a weakling because he's fighting to make our kingdom better. Because he's fighting to better our kingdom for the ordinary people. There is God, oh. There is God. Yes, there is God. And he will judge us all according to our works and intentions. The gods of this land, the God Almighty in heaven, he is God of justice. Joba, I made you the chief security of this kingdom because I consider you competent and qualified, not as a compensation to any power block. Your loyalty is to me and to the people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I've failed you. I've failed the people. Please forgive me. Forgive you? Forgive you when innocent children are at the mercy of some bloodthirsty hoodlums. Forgive you when our beautiful daughters have been taken by criminals, aided by your officers. Dioba. Dioba. There is God. Go out there. 
Look for those children. Find them. Bring them back to this kingdom and reunite them with their parents. That will be the greatest evidence of your contrition. Thank you, Your Of the lamps. When her cup could be snatched from her care, what is left of the loudness? If she would sit, eat, and sleep, while her cup is at the mercy of hooligans. Adago, Adago Mwam, a child of consolation. You remind me so much of your father, my darling friend. You're the biggest Ikene your father left for me. I loved him deeply, and I see him in you every day. Bloodthirsty hooligans. Beyond her exploits in the jungle, the shyness epaulet of the lioness are her cubs. And when she has only one, snatching it away from her. My mom does a lot for me. She does everything to make sure I eat and she takes care of me really, really well. Hmm. Even my dad too. I love my dad so much. Because he's just he's just a strong man. He works so hard to put food on our table. For me, my siblings and my mom too. So I'm working so hard to make them proud. Hmm. For me, I want to study theater arts. I want to be an actor. I want to tell stories that will change the world. Hmm. And I want to win the Oscars, the BAFTA, the Golden Globes, all of them. I want my family name on top of the map of the world. Wow. <laughs> and every lives of everyone, but for good. I want to join the Air Force. Yes, I want to be able to blow shed bombs, to take out all the kidnappers and hoodlums in this country. That wants to cause havoc and destruction to our country and our world. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. I, it's nice, but it sounds weird. You know, you go. It's normal. It's normal. Okay, that's well, interesting, though. 
Um, we need to hurry up. No, we need to hurry up. Yes. Okay, so, we need to run. Like, we need to walk fast. Igbat! Igbat, come, 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 come. Ah, this one weak me, Sha. Igbat, come now! It's in the corner, the put body. I be. Wow, I be now. General. You want them to say you know they hear that sound? Why they act like saying you don't know what they talk now? You want them to say you hear you, you don't you know, hear that angelic voice coming from that cell? Baba, which girl get that voice up there? General, and the voice of that stubborn girl now. Huh? Now you get that voice. Ah, she. All, all, all of them are in jail. General. Baba, this one's special. No worry. This one's special. I've always known that that girl is a very good catch. My baby. I'm a liar, isn't that girl, though? Have you the time you see? One time you say, now nah, your heart, now nah, nah, you, now nah, you die, now nah, you not pop keep past me now. Nah. You're being emotional and it's not good for this business. You taught us to harden our hearts, die it, blot our emotions. So now you now and they tell me what will be 99 intelligence and one drug the boy Allah. The boys are listening, General. Nah, shh, wait. Shh, bomb that girl. Bomb that girl, I saw. Bomb that girl, guy. Bumbo clad! Clear it for master! Okay, show! Come now, let me call you. Adjust more. Now your type with the too serious. Now the heart, the soft pass. I call you because I want to know you. I just don't want to. I mean, I've I've thought about you and I want to know you. What is your name? Adago. Are you, is your mother? My mother is Agonwai. Oh, your mother is Agonwai. I see. Hi. And you are Dago. I mean, that, that's not regular in this part of the world. I've not seen a woman named after the mother or something, but 
I've always known there's something special about you. That's cool. Hmm. I want to go. Hey. I want to go now. Take me back. Why the lament? Are you hungry? Why? Why? What to make you the lament? You the that food? No, the lament for my head though. They know the joint. I said, the joint. You want to go? Come and go now. You think it's in your place to decide who goes and who don't go? Do not disturb my peace for you. Whose decision is it to decide? Maybe the decision of the king and his cabinet, if they meet up to my requirements. Do you understand that? Why don't you go and kidnap them instead? Arrest them and hold them captive instead uh, of us. Uh, We're just innocent children. Uh, uh, if you want cash man, go through in daughter. Yes, now. Nah. We too get sense now. Nah. As they go to school, we don't pass that level. We still get OT for head now. Nah. Peace no go to that village. Peace no go to that kingdom. Until they meet up to our needs. We run out for street oh. <laughs> smart girl, it's smart. Go inside, sir. Let me go now. As the crazy. Come on, go inside. Go. You are who they laugh. No hot am. Just carry and go keep well. Uh -huh. Smart talk, why bring you up to talk to your child? Smart girl. One decide for me. languishing in the Pindapa cell. My sister, what do you want me to do? Or what do you want me to do? I need to be here to embrace money, to bail our children out. My sister, since the kings are not saying anything, they are not doing anything, I just need to be here, my sister. I don't have any other choice. I'm just wondering, what kind of leader? They don't even care about the security of this village anymore. All they do is to get themselves big cars, houses. They don't even have feelings for us anymore. Sister, there's no any other choice than to do this. To embrace money. To bail our children out. If it's to go and fight, my sister, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything. The thing is well. just silent. As if we do not have any king in this kingdom. I'm tired. I'm tired. What are we going to do? It's just as if our hands are tied. What should we do? should know better than come to my humble abode to vent your anger. Of course, you know where to go. Go to the king. I mean, go to the palace and ventilate your anger. Hi, Chief Kasimobi. I am not one of those puppets. You do not control with your power play. My daughter, Adako, and all the daughters of this community is in captivity. And you have a responsibility to bring them home. And may I remind you that I, High Chief Kasimobi, 
I am not the commander-in-chief of armed forces of this kingdom. Unfortunately, he who is, is nothing but a weakling and drunkard. That is why we are where we are. Hajif Kashimobi, my daughter and other innocent children of this community cannot be used as pawns on your chessboard of power play. I am a true daughter of this land, and so my daughter do everything possible to bring our children home. There is limit to probably to political desperation. Our children cannot be sacrificed on the altar of some dirty probably between the born to rule cabals and the weakling. Shut, of shut up, woman. I said, shut your throat! Mind what you say. I mean, Agumai, mind your tongue. You don't walk into my humble abode to talk rubbish. Else, I will show you that no matter how feeble a man's genital might look, it will surely break the sacredness of a woman when provoked. Be warned. If truth were a statement, I will make it over and over again. And I dare you. Raise this your lame, stinking, bloody hand at me. And I will remind you why I am Agumai and not Mayago. Why I am the lion and not the wife of the lion. Maybe you forgot. But I'll remind you I am the warrior queen of this land. And I dare you. Touch me. Hi, Chief. Touch me. Just do it. Do oh it. My. Yes, that's my name. Don't tell me. And I just did. I repeat. Don't dare me. Else. Nothing will happen. I will show you that no matter the size of a woman's breast, no matter the heaviness of a woman's breast, a baby, a baby must suckle on it to survive. And not a man like you. Be warned. Watch your back. Agumai, be warned! Hi, Chief. Watch your back. I tell you today, watch your back. O gods of our land, gods of my forefathers, my gods, I call on you to come and help me. Help me from the hands of my enemies. Help me to regain my freedom. Come and help me. I did not make myself king. You made me king and you placed me on the throne because you are the gods who can make kings and it is you, the gods, can, that can dethrone kings. You put me on this throne. Please do not watch me to suffer because I did not make myself king. Did you see how my enemies are succeeding against me. 
these enemies came into those kingdoms and abducted our daughters, innocent children, daughters that they know nothing. These are children that are still going to school. Those of our fathers, how can you watch and see all those things? I did not make myself king. You made me king. You put me on the throne. But these cohorts, my gods, please do not allow me to suffer like this. Help me to save these children. Huh? Some of these children are uh, only daughter uh, to some parents. And these enemies, this cabal that think that they are the kingmakers, that they, they are the only ones that can become king, and they don't want me to enjoy anything during my reign. They decided to suffer me. They can do anything to pull me down. That's why they enter this kingdom and abduct these children. They are innocent. My God, these children are innocent. Please save them for me. <laughs> save them for me. I cannot do anything. They are gone to the hands of the enemies. They are sovereign in their hands. Only you can do something now to help me. And return these children back to this kingdom. <laughs> I know you can help me. I call on you, my God. And I know you are hearing me. I trust in you. I know you can help me. Because when you put me on this throne, uh, you know that you will see me to eat. Please come and help me. I trust in you. He said... God did not make you king for you to start complaining over those things. He has given you powers to do for yourself. Rise up! Stand as a man that you are and take responsibilities. And stop disturbing God over those things he has given you powers to do for yourself. Pesha, you know better than to talk to a king like that. I am a commander in chief. Commander in chief. Use your powers as a commander in chief to free those innocent children that were adopted by the hoodlums. Use your powers as a commander-in-chief to secure our land. Before your very eyes, our land is going apart. And here you are, drinking this local brew, praying to God Almighty to do to the people those things he has given you power, those things he has given you power to do for them. Drinking like a a, 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 a village drunkard. You speak like a woman that you are. Can you not see that the kingdom has been hijacked by this cabal who has sworn to make this kingdom ungovernable for me? You make irresponsible excuses. You have the powers as the king. You have the command of the military of this land. How can you sit back here and tell me that some group of persons has become more powerful than you are? Your Majesty, the true test of a leader is not what he does when people support him, but how effective he is when traitors try to undermine his leadership. You fail to understand that these people are entrenched. They are the owners of the system. They can do and undo. I'm even lucky to still be alive and on the throne. If not, they would have taken me out 
or overthrow me through kill the path. So says the weakling of a king. A king who has powers and ready to use it will deploy the instrument of the law and the legitimate powers of his office to protect his people and reign in the traitors who use the people as a cannon holder for their selfish interest. And here you are drinking some local dry gin and praying to God to do for the people that which he has given you powers to do for them. Stop, Pesha. Say no more. You speak more like a spokesman of your position. I speak like your wife and not your praise singer. I owe it to you, King Ebele, and the kingdom to tell you the truth, to criticize you in the secret and praise you in the public. Your Majesty, you can count on my wavering support all the way. I want you to succeed. I want our kingdom to prosper. I want the security and safety of the citizens. Look at us. We are now bought of jokes before the whole world just because you refuse to stand up for the saboteurs. This is another day and the kingdom seems to have abandoned us. They left us to the mercy of these bloodthirsty terrorists. I'm so sad. My parents will be very worried by now. My siblings. I know they will be crying because they don't know my well being. Yes, everyone that has family is being missed. Now our dreams are put on hold. Or maybe forever erased. How soon we live here will determine if our dreams are still valid because I heard what they do to their captives. Yes, they marry them out. If they, are, if they are young girls like us and our mothers, they sell women and girls off and even share some of them to their fellow terrorists just to satisfy their sexual urge. To see Alpha, I can never marry someone I don't know not know. God forbid. We pray not to be left in such fate. Amen. Amen. And again, we shouldn't just pray with that action. I know the king is clueless about this. Maybe probably because he doesn't have any idea on how to come to our rescue. Yeah, I'm afraid. Those guys are more formidable than the military of our kingdom. They are not. They can't be. Then, why are they succeeding in kidnapping the innocent children and keeping them for years or months? The only thing they can do is to negotiate with the kingdom. Pay them a huge amount of money to which they buy more ammunition to terrorize the kingdom. And you think we are worth the pains? It would have been much easier if there was among us the child or member of the king or even member of the ruling class. Do you think we are worth the pains and expenses? No! We are just but the children of the poor. What do we do? Because I'm just tired of this whole place. I want to go. I want to go and reunite with my family. I want to go. I'm tired. I'm tired of being harassed. I'm tired of being used. I'm tired of being beaten. I want to go back. I want to go and meet my family. I want to go. It's... You want to go where? What is the suffer here? I just say not tell you say eh? No illegal discussion for you, Abi. When I tell you the discuss, I just say for classroom. Okay, see the three of you now. So what 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 do you talk for here now? Nothing. Are you stupid? I be like, see, if I say you want me, I bust your head. You know how long when I don't dare you to look on her, eh? You know since when I don't dare you to look on her. Come on, come outside here. Come on, me down here. Come on, come here. You know how you do that one? I'll be like your mate for you. I'll be like your mate. Come on, knee down here. I'm talking to you. Knee down, knee down here, knee down here. Now tell me, what are you telling me? What are you telling them? See here, see. I will blast your hair, scatter for your hair, and I swear. I will bust her like watermelon now if you don't know, start to the top now. They talk me because they hear you. Like I said before, we are talking about our future. We are just discussing about our future as young girls, just like your little sisters. 
who has committed no crime and you chose to keep us here. At least even if it's for once, let's enjoy ourselves. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Inside there, make them not give an opportunity. You know, I can't define another thing. She know they hear me so. Make one of mine day. Make one just jump. Oh. Who jump for you? Yeah. You go your collect. Instant, instant reflection. Make one of mine just there. I I I watch one. I see. See eh, my CCTV eh, in mountain on now. I they watch one for plasma TV. Who jump? Make one jump. Oh. Adago and her classmates were abducted by some hoodlums while they wrote their final exams. And this kingdom, under you, has failed to rescue my daughter, nor show any convincing evidence of the readiness to do that. Tell your husband that Agumai shall not sit and wait quietly until my daughter is being violated, is being maltreated, but are still killed. I am taking my fate in my hands to go rescue my daughters. Because this is a proof that this kingdom has no leadership. Agoan, is that the reason you spoke to my husband in the manner in which you did? A king who is overwhelmed by the troubles of his people is not a king. How? How? Stop it. Your husband is our servant. He is not our lord. He owes us responsibility of protection. If you desire respect for your husband, go make him take responsibility. Let him go bring back our daughters. Look at what King Ebere has brought upon us with his lousy attitude. We are on earth will a common citizen insult the king and even attempt to assault the queen physically. Agawai, I don't blame you. Let's go.
do you think you went too far? Hmm? Almost getting physical with the queen of the land. Queen is not. I mean, of Her duty to the king is to ensure her husband delivers on his responsibility. When the husband fails as a husband, she has no one. You may be right. I go lie. But you know it is how it is done in this part. Hmm? Hmm? The king is strong. As a king. When he fails to take care of his people, he is no better than a father. We shall go to war. We shall fight. War. We shall go to war. With who? Against those. Aguan, we do not have the hands to confront such a dangerous gun. We will fight. We have to. It's our benefits. No ammunition is stronger than the will of God is to protect children. We are agree. Yes, what do we do for? When all our daughters are held captive, it's either we fight or we all die. Life is meaningless without our daughters. Rather than sit in our homes, die of heartbreak. Let us go to the forest. Let us go to the creeks. It's either we rescue our children or we die to we shall fight. 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 Oh, you're going to walk back on. What end? 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 What Modendo, Mamara, Akukoma, you look so worried and lost in thought. What's the problem? Are you the only one who is not bothered about what is happening in our land? I know what's happening in this land, but you seem to be the only one who hasn't come to reality. We have all accepted our fate and await whatever happens. Life has become so cheap that it seems there is no more sacred places or taboo. Where does it occur that young women, children, and our girls are being kidnapped by our so-called freedom fighter? Yet, 
Our king does not have an idea on how to secure our land. Akokoma, you've been too emotional about this land. People have moved on. Those who can afford it are living in droves to other lands to seek for safety and better economic opportunities. I advise you put this entire energy into thinking of how we can escape this land. To where? To whom are we leaving our land for? To those who damaged it. To those to whom it was entrusted and they abused the privilege and ripped our land apart. Let's leave the land for them and their children and seek for better pastures elsewhere. No. No! Our forefathers were not cowards and we cannot be cowards! No! I remember the heroes of our mothers in 1929. I remember Queen Amina of Zazu. I remember Queen Hembe and her battles in the whole Dahomey. And I have chosen to put my foot in their shoes. Akokoma, you must be fantasizing. I am not fantasizing. But I have decided to answer the call. The call? Which call? Aguain has called on all patriotic women and young ladies who are ready to join her in reasserting the pride of our land, the pride of Algeria. I've heard about that a couple of times, but I thought it was some far-fetched fantasy. No. Ugebe Oma. Since our king and his male-dominated army cannot rescue our children, our students, our young girls, since they cannot protect our land, let them stay. And we, the women, shall go for war. And I have chosen to be one of them. Our women shall go for war, and I shall be counted among them. People have a say that it is only an irresponsible man who sits at home and watch the nanny goat go through patrician titard. For the past few years, our kingdom has become a killing field to criminals and Terrorists claiming different ideologies. From kidnapping farmers to ransacking farmlands to stealing farm produce. to terrorist hearts men invading the farm lands and killing anyone who dares resist them. But the height of it is the kidnap of our cherished and dear daughters while they wrote their exams. Uh, uh, Chief, Chief Kashia Mobi, Biko. I do not mean to interrupt you. Let us call a spade a spade. This is not the time for us to start romancing words. Let's call a spade a spade. 
hit the nail on the head. We are on the verge of emergency. Is emergency here? What do we do? How do we solve the situation? What are we going to do? We are on the verge of our, our, our kingdom being overrun by bandits, terrorists, and you are here using proverbs, idioms. But when we have peace in this kingdom, hey, hey, you can now show the dexterity and our knowledge of idioms and uh, proverbs. But for now, what do we do? How do we solve this problem? That's what I want to know. What is the solution? Ekekwe, I am not the king. Ekekwe, I am not the commander in chief. So, I am as confused as you are. You cannot be confused, though. You cannot be confused. Kasha Mobi, you can never be confused. Why? You see, when the king does not do what he's supposed to do, and he's going left hand, left hand, eh? it is the duty of the council of chiefs, which you are the head, to put him at right, tell him this is the way he should go. And if he does not toe that line, and you overstep him, then you know you have done your own duty. You overstep him. Don't be confused, though. Now, may I remind you? that you cannot overstep the king while he's still alive. In this case, two things are involved. Either we convince the king to abdicate the throne, or we leave our people at the mercy of the terrorists. No, 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 no. What has abdication got to do with this? No. If if he abdicates the throne, does that solve our problem? No, now. No, it does not solve the problem. Now he cannot abdicate. Thank you, Kwa. Mm -hmm. Yes. We all know our king. King Ebele is inefficient. He is equally weak. I've equally discovered that as the commander-in-chief, he has lost the confidence of the security chiefs. And without the loyalty and confidence of the security chiefs, the commander-in-chief, I'm afraid, is nothing but a figurehead. against abdication. I love your courage. I love your determination. You're brave. And I'm happy you summoned the courage to join the women army. You know, the love of a mother for her child will propel a woman to do the unthinkable, even if her life is in danger. All that matters to her is a child. And that is the reason for the women army. Our men have failed us. Our king has failed us. The chiefs have failed us. They have all become women, really livered, even to go rescue our little ones from the hands of the hoodlums. But we have come together to form a formidable force to go recover our children from the hand of captivity. A woman is like a lion. When her cub is snatched away from her, her dignity is lost. Her joy is gone. So, I'm happy. I welcome you. Our children, we must rescue them. 
our homes can be built on love and oneness again. Thank you very much, Agumai. I have always admired you from far. And I feel honored by your call. I feel honored to be mentored by you. <laughs> and I promise you that I will do all it takes for us to bring back our little ones from captivity. Thank you for joining in the course. The cause is love. Love of our children. Sure, they must come back to us. We must go out there and bring them home. That is our call. That is our duty as mothers. And welcome to this beautiful club. So we are prepared Very well. for the fight ahead, for the war ahead, for the battle ahead. We must rescue our children from the hand of hoodlums. Be brave. No fear. Be brave and courageous. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Come. Even a hen could fight when her cheeks are put in danger. How much more a lion whose cub was taken right before her very jaw. I come to you with a broken heart. And on behalf of every mother whose daughter was taken captive and every citizen of this kingdom, young and old, male and female, who were raped, killed, and their source of livelihood destroyed. How long will we continue to wait for our king to act? Our king is helpless, but the people of this land cannot continue to fold their hands and allow bandits to redo their lands. I've come to you for wisdom, for strength, that I may persevere. I call upon you to give me the spirit of our forefathers, that they may go ahead and clear the paths, that I may go to rescue my daughter and every other daughter of this land, I will evict all criminals, all bandits from this land. Go, 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 go. 
The bed of is no longer safe for us, especially for the young school girls like us. My little sisters. I did not know it has gotten to this point. How worse can it get when citizens could be abducted by criminals and they would be abandoned for months and years? As if there is no government in the land. It's sad, my sisters. But we are going to take our faith in our hands. Just go. Go to school, okay? Be of good cheers. No. The ghosts of our land will surely protect you. No, 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 no. The ghosts. The ghosts of our land has given us a king and security operatives to protect the citizens and safeguard our land. Yes. Why does it seem they do not care? That is because they are incompetent. They are cowards. They are selfish. Those are not the attributes of good leaderships. <laughs> we shall reclaim our land. But from the terrorists and from the imbeciles in power. Until when? Yes. When, Auntie Akukoma? Soon. Very soon. Just keep your heads to the ground and be ready to play your role. Rush to school, you are late already. No, you have to go to school. You have to go to school. You follow us. You follow us. Fine. I'm right behind you. Thank you. I'm coming. I'm coming.
Come, hey, hey! You want to use that water to kill those crops? I said, you the sprinkle and me, the pour and me, the mad. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Stupid girl. Come on, come on. 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 Come I'm I collapse? I'm a collapse. I'm a collapse. You, I tell you, say you're too fresh for my eye. Life never touch you. Move This girl could make sense. Come, see, make one of You know why? Come on, 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 Everybody go back to work now! I don't get to you. I don't get to you. I'm just waiting wait for your head now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, chacha! Oh, baby, baby! Oh, baby, baby! Oh, baby, baby! I want to I'll leave that white girl. I'll leave that white girl. that white girl. I'll leave that white girl. I'll leave that white girl. I'll leave that white girl. I'll I want to leave. 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 I Easy! 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 Easy!
Come on for my side. Come on, come on, come on for my side. They make my men they fight. Why are they in school? Come, where you? My brother, you bend down. Oh, come here. Come here, I saw. Move here. Come on, come here, I saw. Laugh, fuck. I need to do something now. Come on, go like this. Go like this one. Empty hands. Come, come, make everybody mind day. See, make everybody mind day, buddy. Okay. Jones. See, okay, okay. Now they take my leaders now for weakness. I am the master. See. Ah, number one. Number one. I go like person on rapi. Number one. Number one. I like person on rapi. Master, I hear you. Who are you now? Who are you? My boy, show, show. Come back to work. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Once again, uh, uh, on behalf of uh, reasonable elders of the community, I want to uh, say thank you and go ahead in your good work for our people, uh, your remover and shaker of our dear community, and uh, because of your leadership qualities. Uh, 
uh, we are feeling the effect of good leadership. Uh, there were many Eros in our community where there were erosion uh, destructions uh, last season. But you have, with the influence you have with the uh, government, have been able to effect uh, wonderful repairs. And when I look at those places, I feel the joy of your good leadership. And I want to say, continue. Don't look back. Don't mind what your traditions are saying. You're doing well. Working at the community. Erosion control, you have all that erosion minutes. Abasi, your majesty, must you praise the king to his own ruin? Uh, Don't you see that the kingdom is going apart and his kingship in dire straits? Your duty is to tell him the truth in private and praise him in public, but you rather praise him in private and go out there to join people in criticizing him. I, Your Majesty, I do not uh, think your assessment is uh, uh, correct. I praise the king where he deserves praise. Yeah, it will kill his morale. And it will be a pity if your elders like me are around and our, our, our king is getting downcast. Losing moral. Abbasi, you would be more useful to the king if you can deploy this talent of yours in enlightening the people of this land on how to stand and fight their enemies and not to waste your precious time praising him. No! Get out of here this minute. Uh, Get out! Sorry, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Majesty, I beg uh, to leave uh, so the proceedings can go on uh, and I better there. Yeah. Beg to take my leave. Your Highness, I'm going. Uh, may your leadership continue to do well, perform well. Uh, thank you. Uh, we your Majesty, you do not need the psychophants around you. You need the real thinkers and good advisors that will help you solve the problem of this land. I have them. But where are they when you need them? Having them is not enough. But you need to make them understand that they are not here to party, but to work. Very important. You don't understand this thing, Special. No, you don't. What do I need to understand? There are great powers that have sworn that I'll never succeed. And you have failed to understand that there is no power than the power you possess. Local brios are more important to you than standing up and taking responsibility as the king of this land. There she goes again. My drink has nothing to do with this. Then I am forced to take the part of Agawain in telling you to quit the throne. Yes, if you cannot as much as protect the lives and properties of our people, then you have no right ruling over them. Quit and become like everyone else. Maybe then someone in his right senses will take over the throne and save our people. Hey, welcome. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah, no. 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 Oh,
the way your face looks, uh, is everything all right? Um, I did not expect the atmosphere to look better than it is now. Because, uh, you see, we are filling the society, the community. Yes. Yes, I understand what is happening, but, well, not in the palace. All is well at the palace. Like obtains everywhere in the society. Uh, you don't expect the king cry when the masses are crying or the royalty cry. No, no, no. It's always a, a segregation. Uh -huh. You are right there, Pastor. Uh, yeah. But my problem is politics. These politicians, they don't care about the people. No. They only care about power. You're talking as if you're a toddler. There's no way in the world royalty or rich people feel the same thing with the masses. No! They are always on a high echelon, feeling differently. While the masses are toiling and crying, nobody's listening to them. That is it. But the society has to move on. We have to continue the journey. It doesn't stop. And nothing can make it ever stop. So, let's pretend and feel part of it. That is where the problem is. Oh, you know, the leadership is it's not, it's not the way it should be. It's bad. There is nothing you can do about the leadership. The way they are today is the way they will be tomorrow, next, and forevermore. Oh, no. I know you are going to ask me concerning my status as uh, the king's chief guard. Yes, I'm the king's chief guard. But I'm not the commander-in-chief. My problem here is not the crime or the terrorism that is happening. It is inefficiency of governance, cluelessness of a leader, indec indecisive nature. He cannot step on toes. He needs to step on toes because the king is a, a good and simple man. But a ruler needs being a simple man or a good man. He needs to step on toes. If you can muster the courage, step on toes. It will make tomorrow to be better. But the truth is, can you step on toes? Because if you, Chief Security Officer, cannot step on toes, all we are doing is nothing. Then we become endless noise makers. My brother. Like I said earlier, I'm only the chief security guard. I'm not commander in chief. I'm not the one who takes decisions. But you can initiate it. What if he doesn't listen? You've made the attempt. You've satisfied your conscience by making that attempt. Leave whether he does something about it or not. The important thing is that as a chief security officer, make that move. Abansi. From my own mindset, we need to topple this government. We need to change the leadership. It's too weak. Can it start from you, from somewhere? It cannot start from me because I don't call the shots. <laughs> then where is the noise all of us are making? Um, eh? It's like um, the walls have ears. Okay. Uh, we, we need to move. For that way, uh, somebody might, might be if dropping. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, yes. So let's come out of here. Let nobody get into yes.
great women and warriors of the land of Nigeria. We shall embark on a journey of love. And not of revenge. A battle for our kingdom. A battle for our children and for ourselves. We shall not continue to be perpetual slaves in the face of fear, insecurity, terror. It is time to take our fate in our hands. We shall fight to evict criminals from our land. And when we are done, we shall go to those that fail to protect us. Those who left us with this option, even though it was their responsibility to protect us. The good news is, our gods have sent ahead of us the bird of peace. That bird of peace that will go with us on this adventure. And we shall return. Can I see your weapon of wealth? Raise it. And we shall win. Diopa, what is this news making round about Agumai and our women? I do not know. Agumai. Agumai. I knew her from childhood that she doesn't take no for an answer. Do you not know whose daughter she is? Oh, I know. She is the daughter of the great Isaiah of Nigeria. Her birth is still mysterious. Yes. Her mother went to fetch herbs in the big forest. Suddenly felt contraction. Story had it that uh, two tigers appeared from nowhere to protect her until she regained strength to carry her baby home. And her daughter, Adago? A replica of her mother. I hear she's giving her captors a lot of trouble. As expected. Anyways, Dioba, I want you to keep your eye on them. We can't afford people's revolution. If it must be, then we have to control it. I'll try my best. I you catch a movie. But with Agumwai at the helm of the movement, we will need a lot of luck to succeed in stopping them, even if they decide to go against our agenda. Diopa, you are the chief security officer of this kingdom. Yes, I know. But I'm not all-knowing, all-powerful being. I derive my power from the people. Exactly. Exactly. And you can as well make the people do your biddings. 
Don't you think so? Not always. Especially when the people have the option of taking their, 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 their fate in their hands. Only little can one do to stop them. of the land have agreed that King Ebele should be forced to abdicate the throne. He has failed the people. Hi, Chief. I'm not a politician. I'll keep saying it. I do not have the right to ask the king to abdicate the throne. Oh, you do. Job by you do. The fact is that you don't know the enormous power you wield in this kingdom. Dioba, you are the only person that can advise or even convince. Hi, Chief. I'm not a politician. I do not have the right to ask the king to abdicate his throne. You do. Dioba, you do. It baffles me that you do not know the enormous power you wield in this kingdom. It is only you that can convince or advise the king to abdicate the throne. Yes. I'm not a politician, I keep saying it. You politicians will find a way around that. I've done enough already. Huh? I've done enough. And most of our citizens are in captivity, different parts of the kingdom. Even as I speak with you, I'm afraid that the king might fire me soon. Oh, he dare not do such. He doesn't possess such balls. King Ebele is nothing but a lily livered drunkard that was propelled to the throne by fate. Dioba, that man is a hostage too. Yes, because he cannot do anything, anything, I mean, out of his own volition. But you and I know that. There's a level to which you push even the biggest coward and he will assert himself. We have pushed the king too hard already. Hmm. Dioba, King Ebele cannot do anything. I mean absolutely nothing. Okay, hi, Chief. But why? Why would they rather put the poor masses in such pains just to discredit me? Just to discredit my reign? There is no longer value for human life. My security men are all in cohorts with them. They don't care about the kingdom 
but only their selfish interests and confused. How long shall our kingdom continue to totter on ages because of the selfish interests of a few people? Huh. It don't be because like this now, eh, at the guest hands say Igwe and in cabinet that they plan something. Igwe be like say Igwe won't make I paint this town with blood. Igwe they to watch my orders. Igwe they won't see me. Igwe the Jones. Igwe not even know say me. I know some of the things when he know. Igwe they find my trouble. Kapo, you see this way you talk just now. I don't reason I tire. I don't reason I come. This is, this is where they crease. As you understand. Why be saying our turn? I call it when they 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 chill. They chill. They go back. But I don't understand. Because like this, me I know many hands will play. When you go sort, you go give ransom. Yes, nah. You go even now. Nah, you go do many things for men. You go give mon men money. We don't take even. Even run amnesty. Your brother small small toy gun. Come give amnesty. But if you enter men, I'm worried you go shock. Now you reach our own town, you go from Tiger. You reach me, make I collect, you go turn Tiger. You see all those girls over here, eh? I then go suffer them all. But yes. like this, eh? I don't sit down and do my mathematics, eh? Like, like eight of them now, Karebele. There's every possibility that four in every eight will have twins. One, I'm going to say picking 1.5, 1.5. Nice. It's eight by two, 16, guy. See this thing, if you go finish this thing like this, eh? Blood go flu. Oh, this one, go back by the one after the other safe. Come here, I'm ready. See, you get why I tell you this thing. You know why I tell you this thing? Because me now, eh, my temper they overheat. When they hot like this, if you're there, I know if it pass this message, give me, but find way, make you tell them, make everybody die a lot. But on high B, not in the sub. Put it on guard. Let me tell you. Put it on guard. I blood go flow, you need to go try this thing. Let me tell you. I'm, I'm believing that in a few days' time, we sh shall begin to see results from our security uh, units. Uh, they've been trying to make sure uh, His Majesty uh, has morale kept on the high echelon. Uh, one luck we have in this uh, community is that the Igwe does not rest. Works 24 hours in a. Abasi. Uh, yeah. Abasi, you're a traitor. In fact, you're just like every psychophant. Well, 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 you well. praise the king in his presence and go behind him to sabotage him. I don't believe we have a bad king. He's trying his best. You know, in a few days we shall begin to see a result of uh, the effort. By our use. In a few days, it won't take long. Your Majesty, our, the name of he is lying. I know more that I'm ready to square out. But like I've always said, there is God. Though. I am wondering how this one came about because uh, we all are witnesses to all the efforts being made by. Uh, uh, His Majesty uh, to put things uh, right, not to allow things go wrong in this uh, community. Because of him, I want to stay here forever. I don't want to run away. Like some people are trying to run away, to run to where? The way Your I'm Majesty, everything he has told you concerning Dioba, they are all lies. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Dioba is profiting from the insecurity of this land. 
In fact, Diopa sent him here to come and wet the ground for him so that he can come in for more proposal. About it. It is your conscience that will judge you. All these things you're saying, it is within you. It is only you that know if you are doing the right thing or the wrong. Um, Your Majesty, don't believe everything he said about Dioba. Uh, but all I need is result. You will get the result. A good one. Uh, just, just just watch in a few in a few days. Uh, our security people have been fighting to entrench people who will tell the enemy run away. Abbas, there is God. Yes. Yes. I wish you see the whole thing from the angle I'm seeing them. Uh, uh, Lord, you know. There is hope in this kingdom. A weak king deserves no loyalty. The kingdom is in disarray. King Ebele brought this upon himself. He should quit because he's a misfit. High chief. Yes. We have become a laughing stock to the world. Our neighbors now see us as a bunch of weaklings ruled by women just because we cannot defend our land. We can if politics and corruption will allow us. The king is the head of this kingdom. It's just because of his ineffectiveness that is why we are in this mess oh oh how i wish i can walk into that palace and throw him out of the throne he has brought so much disgust and shame to this, our noble kingdom. You would do no such thing. The throne is sacred. And the king was chosen to sit on it. Yes, he was chosen by the gods. Joba, what if that your king has failed but the gods and the people. Leave him to the gods and the people.
I hope you're enjoying this place now. No. I want... We want to go. We want to go back to our families. You want to go back to your families? See, Ada, let me tell you something. Always speak for yourself. Because I can bet you that the rest of you here does not want to go. They don't want to go. They're relaxed already. You are the only one who's still not... Uh, uh, who, who've not created the adaptive features to survive here. I mean, others are enjoying this place. No. We want to go back to our families. We miss our families. We want to go back to school and continue our education and achieve our dreams. Just like your national anthem. They could bring Guna up like small toys. Small thing. Small thing. You know, say picking the use forehead, fall down. And Papa go do eye like say, you know, see him. Make it cry, you know, say, no be joke, you can't, you can't joke. You think it's easy like you say? You think it's easy? You're going to help me? How, if I may ask? If I go out of here, I will go to school. When I'm done going to school, I could get in the government and do something about it. <laughs> and help you out. <laughs> This girl, you funny die. I said, you funny die. So you expect me to sit back and wait till you go to school and graduate and become whoever you said you want to become and now go into the government and now arrange the whole thing and everything will turn around. So while you're growing up, what will I be doing? You see why you say you be small picking? You see why you be small picking? You better have everything. You better have a change of plan because the next time you thwart my order in this camp, on it thwart your order next time here. It thwart, it thwart my order here next time. It thwart my order. I go use you and your cohorts. Well, no male baby factory. Oga, unu na muwa nele men mount we go give una bele. Ibo ala. Men mount toy so we go give una bele. Now make money. Men do it. Men mount Come on, men do it, son. Discharge, I saw. Bumble clad. Discharge, I saw. Come on, Captain. of our great kingdom. It is said that a frog does not run in the afternoon for nothing, for May fun. If it's either, if it's pursuing something, or something is pursuing it. Ekekwa Ubokolo Our kingdom is in disarray It is as if we do not have a leadership in place The bandits have overrun our land And it is clear that the leadership we have in place now is overwhelmed. For how long do we continue to have patience? For how long? Or do we wait until all of us are taken hostage? Eh? Chief Kashia will be. Take it easy. We are not kids here. We are not kids that you can bamboozle us with idioms and parables and the rest of the world. Go straight to the point. Hit the nail by the head. Uh -uh. You cannot use... No, 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 nobody. Nobody can, can, can scare a prostitute with a big phallus. She has seen everything. We have seen it. Hit it. Tell us. Tell us the truth. 
Chief Ekekwe is right. This is not the first nor the second time you are summoning for this kind of a meeting. I believe by now you should have a solution to the problem. Yes, sir. I'm not carrying circles. We are going around. Ekekwe. Ekekwe. Come on. Don't forget that you are sitting before me. Kasimubi. Kasimubi. Obokolo. Chief. Are you the only one who do not know that Agumai has taken our women to the forest and the young girls too? In preparation for war against the bandits. Everybody is aware of that now. Even my own niece um, is among the girls that they took a look. What's the big deal about that? And you are not embarrassed? Ekekwe, you are not ashamed? What do you think our neighbors will take us for? Don't you think our neighbors will laugh at us? <laughs> Does it mean that all of us are weak men to the fact that we will send our women to war with the bandits? There is nothing ridiculous about it. Uh, what is in it? Huh? If the God says our women are the ones to save us from this ridiculous, embarrassing situation we find ourselves, so be it. After all, we can argue that even then, uh, we can tell them that they are beneath us. We can't send our men, our men who have power to come and fight them. And we sent our women who they think are weakness. And if our women should defeat them, so be it. They will still call us heroes. They go rap with money who are less fit fat. A man, a man sees a snake and a woman kills it. But the snake is dead. Who has killed the snake? That family has killed the snake. Tell me how that to do. Not for the same purpose. Not for the same purpose. Eke where? Eke where? Eke where? I'm listening to you. Hmm. This is a problem. Indeed. This is truly abominable. And this is only obtainable in a kingdom where a drunkard was chosen to be the king. A kingdom where a man drunk card is the lucky man. I'm ashamed. I am ashamed of this kingdom. Just don't say the regret to words about our king. I take exception to that. You and I are part of this kingdom. We are chiefs. High chiefs. We rule this kingdom. If he's a failure, we are all failures. It is said that if society gets a leader that he deserves, you chose him. If he's a failure, you are a failure. I chose him. I'm a failure. Let us right the wrong. Don't say the regret words about him. That is the truth. You don't apportion blame over him. If he's a weakling, you are a weakling. I am a weakling. You are a weakling. Solution. Thank you, Kwea. Anubaj also. Abwayaj. Eleke de Berg made it clear that if the hunter starts to shoot without any, then it will keep flying mm -hmm. without purchase. Yes. We can 
are still correct things. Correct. We have little time to rescue our girls. The animals are becoming more vicious. We have to be ready. No time. The beagle will sound any time. <laughs> that someone has an overgrown skin dangling between his thighs thinks himself a superior gender. Well, we shall see how it goes. Majesty. Yeah, but what is going on in the kingdom? Your Majesty, we are trying our best to protect the people. You betrayed me, Yoba. I entrusted the security of the people into your hands. But you chose to play along with those who detest my divine of late hands. And now the people are worse for it. Your Majesty. I did not betray you. I did it. High Chief Kashimobi is the Prime Minister of this kingdom and is the High Chief of his own domain. So I have the military discipline to defer to him issues concerning his jurisdiction. 
directly. There are no deputy commanders in chief. There is one and only commander in chief. And that is me. I may be easygoing. And I enjoy this my local wine a lot. But I'm also well educated and informed. I don't push things too hard. Because I know that Providence has a way of resolving some of the seemingly most intricate matters. Diopa, we shall see how this ends. And I will praise the gods of this land, no matter how they choose to end it. I shall take I shall take my leave. That woman dares to think she can thwart my orders. She can challenge me. You see, sometimes I I I wonder what gives her the impetus, as the tamarity, the gods, to the behave all this as in, to the display all this display which she did, as in, all this perform which she perform now and for who? General. About who she perform for? General. She is but a woman. <laughs> she overrates herself, but we will teach her a bitter lesson of her life. On the contrary, my guy, she's not just a male woman. She's the female warrior of the kingdom. That woman was made for war. That name no be just a title. She is born for war. Do not underrate her. See, let me tell you, the only reason I stand a chance where I go on is, is because she doesn't even have the permission of the king. See, she's only on embarking on this journey because her child is in captivity here. Else, I don't want to send them now. General. General. That's a mere title. Had you seen war before? Had you seen any war before? Huh. Now who no go? Now I want to see you. Baba, see. Now Peking. We no no say that man. Now my boyfriend. Now they call him uncle. Baba, the best way to attack your enemy or win a war is to overrate your opponent. Now, when you display, you go march. You go make your win. General. And I'm in an intelligence, one regard it guy. Focus. I've heard about her heroics in hunting. Mm -hmm. She can be daring, yes. But, General, how do they write your story? That a mere woman brought war to you. Woman that squats to urinate. Baba, now who they alive they tell the story of oh. May your mind day. Eh? May your mind day. The best thing you can do for me now is to make sure that you and the men are vigilant at all times. See, make we win the war first, leave the story. General would be vigilant. But let us not wait here and let the world hear that these women brought war to us. Male women! We know their camp. Let's go and whip them! Calm down. 99 intelligence. No, do not make decisions when you're angry. Oh, God! No, they make decisions when you're angry, I saw. They are like They are like Come on, they were like so. I love everybody! I love everybody! I love! Women! Bumble clad! Are you the qua? Yala! Woman, where they sit down to peace? What fight us? You know if you happen now. Nah. Stop off. You bow down. You know if you happen for this. That woman I don't laugh. Ah, what could they buy this woman? But I'm a chicken. Are we now? I have come to realize that a man must not embrace every opportunity that comes his way. 
sometimes we have to allow some of these opportunities pass us by. But we should make the best of every opportunity that we'll see. That's what everybody thinks. But it is not always correct. And I don't think you're correct either. I do not want you to believe me. But that does not change the fact. But that does not change the fact that I am not ill-fitted for the throne at this time. Who is? Cassie Mobi. Or one of those vampires that can do anything to be in power. Must not be any of those. Can be someone else. For instance, look at the manner of risk Agumwa is putting herself into just because of the kingdom. Such a person should be entrusted with leadership. She's just but a woman who is driven by the love of her only child. Being a woman does not make anyone less human. Strength is in the heart and not in the genitals. Her ability to mobilize and organize her fellow women for a war they do not realistically stand any chance of winning is inspiring. Your Majesty, that is because you have failed to provide leadership. You have failed to act when you should have. You do not understand Keshe. You don't. But I just hope we will be alive for you to understand these things in the future. Well, I understand enough to know that you are just a weak man. A man who allows his enemy to undermine you without consequences. The biggest wars are sometimes fought and won without firing a shot. Time will tell. That's the sound of war. That's the gong of war coming from this woman's camp. Why I go? Agumani! A mere woman calls us out for war. War avoided by men in the community. Why does Diokma want to sell these women to their early I graves? I don't know why. Why? I do not know why he wants to send those women to their early grave. But you see, Agumai. Agumai has the nerves to bring war to me. I will swallow her. I will swallow Agumai. Let us hold the general assembly. The little one I go do for me. Listen, boys! The little one I go do for me, and to death I laugh. Baba, make everybody mount guard. Make everybody do a thing. Mount guard. Make everybody molanya. Make everybody molanya. Make sure no catch us on our way. But as for that woman and her squad, whatever that is giving them the mind, the gods, to challenge the men in the bush, they go go down. General I said they go go down. All of them go go down because we are the beast. We are the beast. The beast they made is coming for them. I hear you, master. Go enter the water, water.
It is better to die in a war than sit in our houses and being taken away as captives by some uncircumcised hoodlums parading themselves as freedom fighters and secessionists. We cannot be said to be free when our daughters are being taken captive. We cannot be said to be free when our farmlands are invaded and raided. We cannot be said to be free when we are not free to work out for food for our families. We cannot be said to be free when we are afraid to go hunting just for the fear of being taken as games. If our leadership cannot protect us, we will fight to protect ourselves. We will fight for our safety. The gods of our land, they know my heart. They know the intentions of my heart. May they see us through as we embark on this journey. And we shall come back victorious. If we must die, let us die fighting rather than die as slaves to fear. We must not die as slaves to fear. We must die fighting. We must not die as cowards. We must die fighting. May the gods of our land see us through. Joppa, why would you embark on such a journey without your officers? How would I have known that those women are this militant? I got more than I bargained for. Joppa, you should know. You were born and bred in this kingdom. You know all the stories behind Agumai. You should know that Agumai is not a nickname. I thought she would have deferred to the king's order without putting up resistance. Oh, not when her daughter is under captivity. We should do everything to stop them by force. Do you suggest I deploy my men to disarm them? Of course. That is the only way we have out of this problem. Or would you prefer those women get slaughtered by our guys? and spoil our deal with them? I'm confused, though. Hi, Chief. I'm confused. You don't have to be confused in a situation like this. Joppa. If we should allow these women to make an attempt and fail, Those guys will come after us because they will believe that will betray them. What if the women succeed? That also will spell doom for us. You see, 
we will lose our power and influence in this kingdom. They will take over everything. Joppa, our best bet is to make sure that oppression does not go on. Hi, Chief. We're in a very difficult situation. If I deploy my men, and there's a possibility that the women I saw will put up tough challenge. We will record casualties. And if the women defeat them, we will be called traitors and banished. What then are you suggesting we do? I think our best bet is to give the bandits logistical and strategic support so that they can defeat Agunwanya and her squad. With that, we maintain our understanding with the bandits and the threat of Agunwanya will be comprehensively defeated. Shed tears. I'm not gonna shed tears. I'm not gonna shed tears. But I go sprinkle blood. See, I go sprinkle blood. I'm gonna inform my men. Whatever it is, whatever it is, show yourself. Come to me. Let's deal man to man. Come, show yourself. You think you can get me down by killing all my men? You can kill the fleshy ones, not the invisible ones that live in me. This cause I must fight till infinity. I must fight. I better my man. I better my man. Now you don't fall like this. I don't go cry. Nah, I don't go cry. Oh. Hey. Oh, sleep, Dada. Sleep, Dada! The wrong people keep paying the price. The wrong people keep paying the price! You think they are guilty? You think we are guilty, right? The end shall justify the means. The end! Shall justify the means. I will strategize. But I promise all of you, my comrades, I shall avenge your death one by one. I shall avenge your death.
Amaka, where is Adago? I've not seen her. Adago? Mm hmm. She escaped. Ah! Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Where did she go? She poisoned their drink. What's your problem? What if someone hears you? She left without us. Don't worry. She already assured me that her mother one year ago will come for us. And she'll definitely come soon. Calm down. I pray so. We have really suffered in the hands of those <sighs> men. Eh? They molest us. This part we are working for them. Still, they sleep with us without protection. Hey, go of our land. Please help us. We are tired. It's okay. I think we need to leave here now. Mm. Let's go, let's go. Hey! Be careful! Be careful with me! You come down here. Come back here! Go on, come on this way. This all of you. I will not. I will not let her go! If you misbehave, I will kill her! And in the count of three, if you don't tell these vagabonds to drop their weapons, I will kill. I will... And I, I will kill! I said I will kill! One! Two! Three! in this community so I can never go down because if I go down they will go down with me so I want you because I am coming back for all of you I bet you in the next seven days I am out you think you can kill me you think you can kill me you think you can kill me okay okay Hey, I'm not going to panty more. I'm not going to panty ever. A great job. May the gods of our land bless you. Say. And may you never be stranded. Say. I am super proud of you. Thank you, my friend. You are indeed a great woman. Mm -hmm. Come. <laughs> they are not looking like people that are coming from the kidnappers there. What is the secret? We have been with them for the past seven days. So we ensured they are clean and well taken care of. Oh, <laughs> thank you. My queen, we are mothers. Even though we are hunters, we are mothers. You have proven that to me. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. <sighs> You're all welcome. Thank, thank you, my queen. queen. You're all welcome. Thank you, my queen. Your Majesty. Aduan. Greetings. You are welcome, Aduan. Thank you, Your Majesty. You did well. Thank you, my queen. You are welcome. Thank you, my queen. Our children, we welcome you back. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> this is Your Majesty. Welcome back, Agwan. For I you. this. <laughs> On behalf of our dear kingdom, we present this to you as a token of our love. And, and gratitude. You are all the women warriors that put their lives in line 
to bring our daughters back. We say thank you to all of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. From henceforth, you shall take charge of security in this kingdom. <laughs> You and all the women warriors will be working as our security agents in this kingdom from today henceforth. So, Your Majesty, thank you. <laughs> that work tirelessly and so hard to sabotage our kingdom. By the power vested on me as the king of this kingdom, I banish you all from this kingdom. You and all your children are not allowed to step your feet in this kingdom ever again. Thank you. 